Question seven says the mass, let's zoom in. The mass of 60 parcels collected at a post office were grouped and recorded as shown in the histogram below. It says complete the table below to show the information given in the histogram. All right, so complete the, complete the table below to show the information given in the histogram. So let's see what we need to complete in the table. So masses between 16 to 20, 16 to 20, that's in between here. And this have a number of parcels of 15. Clearly, number of parcels is 15. So right here, we're gonna put 15. No. Then 26 to 30 is right here. This is the number of parcels is not quite five yet. Let me see. This looks like, this is two and a half, so this is three. So the number of parcels is three. Now, cumulative frequency, you're just gonna add, you're gonna add 11 to the 47, 46, and 11 plus 46, that is 57. All right, that's 57. Then 57 plus three, that is 60. Nice and easy. All right. Then now it says on the graph provided on page 19, using a scale of two centimeters to represent five kilograms and two centimeters to represent 10 parcel, draw a cumulative frequency for the data. So we need to draw a cumulative frequency. So we have the histogram and now we're gonna draw the cumulative frequency. To draw the cumulative frequency, we're gonna need one more thing right here. All right? And these are the upper boundary values. When you use cumulative frequency on the x-axis, you plot the upper boundary values. So you're gonna plot 5.5, to four, here you're gonna plot 10.5, here then you're gonna plot 15.5 and stuff like that. So the only reason I'm writing this down here is to, 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 to show what you're gonna have on your x-axis. And then this is gonna be a cumulative frequency on your y-axis. All right, 25.5 and finally 30.5. So I'm gonna go ahead and open a wonderful software that you may feel free to use to plot graphs. It's known as the GeoMeter Sketchpad, GSP5. So the GSP5 is a wonderful graphical software where feel free to when you're practicing or anything of that sort, you can use the Geometer Sketchpad to sketch graphs. You can use it for a lot more stuff. Let's go ahead and do it. So this is the Geometer Sketchpad template, all right? And it's a free software. You only have 20 minutes to use it each time, but it's wonderful. You can use it to construct anything you want. You can draw circles, you can use it for almost any topic, but we're going to graphs today. So we're going to We're going to plot points, and what do we want our scale to be on the x-axis? Let's go back to what the question said. The question wanted the scale on the x-axis to be two centimeter to represent five kg and say so on X, we want 2.5, each centimeter to represent 2.5. Not like that. We want to change the scale. So, Mm -hmm. 
trying to fix the scale. How do I get the scale down? That's not working. All right, so I'm unable to fix the scale, so I'll use the wide scale for now, my apologies. Still getting familiar with this technology. All right, so we're gonna be plotting 5.5 with a cumulative, cumulative frequency of four. All right, 5.5 to four. So let's plot that point. So on the X, 5.5, and on the Y is four, that's one point. Let's look at the other points. We're gonna be plotting 10.5 to 14. The next point that we're gonna be plotting is 15.5 to 31. The next point we're gonna be plotting is 20.5 to 46. 20.5 to 46. Then the next point we're plotting is 25.5 to 57. 25.5 to 57. Then of course, finally, we're plotting 30.5 to 60. That's our cumulative frequency, All right? Of course, now it's time to sketch this graph. I'm gonna have some difficulty, just bear with me. Oh, this one is for angles. Trying to draw a line here. Okay, so why is that doing that? Trying my base here, hopefully it comes out looking all right. This is the cumulative frequency we're gonna have, all right? And that's that, that's our cumulative frequency. Remember to label your y-axis, frequency is on here and then down here. So we have number of parcels on the y-axis and the mass on our x-axis, all right? So it's always good to just label your axis. This is mass and this is parcel on the y-axis. Always good to just label your x and y-axis, all right? Now let's look at the next portion that they're gonna ask us now. So this is just the cumulative frequency. Next thing they ask is, using the graph, at draw to estimate the median number of parcels or the median mass of parcels. So remember totally there's 60. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna divide 60 by two to get 30. And then we're going to draw a line from 30 going across to the graph and then going down. This number will give us the median mass. So as you can clearly see, oops. As you can see, the median mass right here looks like 50. Median mass is 15 kilograms, all right? So this is known as the position of Q2. So 
The total frequency divided by two is gonna give us the position of Q2. I like to call it PQ2, means position of Q2. And then the median right here is Q2. In between 10 and 20, that's 15. And so the median is 15. So using our graph, the median is 15 kilograms. <laughs>